Hey family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and we are taking a digital dive into the world of Catan, or Catan, or I don't really know how you're supposed to pronounce it, I've heard it pronounced a few different ways, uh, you can even call it Settlers if you want, because, you know, that's what it originally was, Settlers of Catan. Uh, this is, of course, Catan Universe, the digital version of Catan, completely with all the same rules and everything, so there's really nothing different about the digital version as compared to what you would have sitting on your cable at home. It's just that, you know, you're following the rules to a T because of the programming here, so there's really no cheating and no accidental placements and things along that way, because the game will say no. Uh, you're going to find this uh, Catan Universe, you can find this basically on phone, any apps, you know, ISO or Android or whatever has it. I'm playing this on Steam right now. I believe you can find it on PlayStation Network, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, all, all different kinds of things like that. So why don't we go ahead and just jump right into a single player. Uh, we're going to go to the basic game. Now you can do any of the expansions as well for a single play. I may do Seafarers at some point, but I just want to do the basic game right now. And I think that'll be really cool to play. Uh, and as you see, it also has different options for that as well. These are the scenarios. First island, standard play, you know, three, four, right out of the box. Uh, five, six would be uh, an expansion to make more players come in, which is it's insane. Uh, let's see, lots of pasture land and fat sheep, but no mines. Ore is the most important resource in this scenario. And because trade became more and more important, harbors are even more significant to become a harbor master. So these again are, these two are different rules that are added to the game just to make it interesting, kind of shake things up a little bit. But we're gonna go to the first island. And we are gonna go against, of course, computer AI. So we have William, Marianne, and Jean here. They are all master AI. Uh, if you do click on, get rid of one of them and you can add a player and you can see rookie veteran and master so every uh i like hildegard <laughs> she's funny but uh, every person here has three different uh levels of complexity to them and i just want to do master straight out i have yet to win a game by the way uh random player start is fine random map i kind of like the distribution being random because it makes the games more fun uh, and you don't know what you're getting into that's good. Victory points 10 as per normal. And I say we start this game. Here we go. All right. Everyone's all ready. Let's see. What do we have here? So Marianne is going to go first and it goes left to right. So I will be the fourth player to choose, but then I'll be the fifth player to choose. That's actually a really good position for me to be in because I get two choices back to back. Where do I want to go? Now, here's a good spot. I could pop here, and then I have a six, a nine. I mean, two is two is a terrible number. Two is absolutely, shush, Jade. You, you, you wait your turn. I'm deciding. I'm not a smart computer. I think I'm going to go here for my first settlement, and I'm going to send my road. I'm going to send my road down this way because then I have two options for harbors either this question mark here which is going to be a, a trade in three and get one of anything or this wheat one here which is trade in two wheat and get um, uh, one of anything and with that in mind where do I want to put the next my next spot I am not very good at this game so bear with me uh, as I make poor decisions but I think what I want to do go here, then I'd gain a wheat of, uh, hmm. Let's go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my gut, I'm gonna put it here. Bloop. So I gain one of all of those. I know, three and four, it's not the best, but if I can put a road, if I can try to get a settlement here, that'll be pretty good too. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Boom, okay. So now everyone puts their stuff down. Those, that's that's kind of where I wanted it to go. Thanks. Thanks, Hildegard. And in we go. So the basic way that Catan works is that every turn you start by rolling the dice. And whatever the number on the dice shows is what resources are collected on the map. So as you see, I get an ore there. Hooray! If you roll a seven, you trigger the robber, in which case he will steal cards from you if you have more than eight in your hand. If you do not, then you can pick up the robber and drop him on any spot on the board, and you can steal a random card from another player 
based on the uh, the settlements within that spot. Plus then whatever place you put them, they cannot gain any resources from that spot either. And I have a trade offer from Hildegard. She wants, she wants my wheat, but she'll give me wood. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Trading is always a good thing because you'd be surprised what you can get from uh, this game. So hit this. What do we got? All right, we got a nine. So we actually get a sheep, which is good. Uh, I do want to try to get, I need to get into one of these spots. I need to get a harbor um, and I need to get some brick too. Oh man. In terms of placement of your settlement, whenever you place down a settlement, the connecting corners from that settlement have to be vacant. So you can't place a settlement next to another settlement. Uh, there always has to be some space between them. So it kind of limits where you go with certain things. Yeah, just keep moving that Robert. Get him out of there. Uh, come on, get away. Uh, and then the goal of the game is to get 10 points. We all start with two points already just because each uh, settlement is worth a point. You can upgrade it to a city, which then that city is worth two points. And then if you have uh, the longest road, which as you can see, roads are starting to build up. Jeez. All right, so I get to move the robber now. I'm going to move the robber up here. Hiya, who am I going to steal from? Let's steal from Hildegard because you suck. All right, can I do anything? Uh, this is the build cost. You trade in uh, one of each card shown. So it's be this is actually two wheat, so two of each one, uh, in order to do different things. Building roads, making settlements, making cities, and buying development cards. Which I could buy a development card. I'm going to buy a development card. These are like one-time use special powers that really help out. All right, I got a knight, that's cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so if you have the longest road, which is five or more segments connected together, then you get immediately two victory points. And if somebody builds a road uh, longer than yours afterwards, then they get the longest road um, uh, card, so then you lose the points and they get them. And then in addition to that, the more knights you play, the bigger of an army you will have. And whoever has the most army also gets victory points. There's a lot of different ways of getting points in this game. It's just a matter of collecting the resources. God dang it, robber! At least I still have less than eight, which is good. Um, who has a lot of cards? There's really nothing on that six. I want to place this. We're going to place it right here on this five. And I'm going to steal from Marianne. Hey, I got a wood. Cool. Nope, nobody does. This is, is going to be the crappy thing about the, the AI. They rarely ever want to trade. How about an ore? Anybody want that? See? Now, now watch. I will do this trade, and they're always going to say no. They're saying no, they're saying no, they're saying no. But then as soon as they go in, someone's going to ask for a brick. Or someone's going to have a brick for something. Keep going sheep. Okay, so I gain a sheep and I lose a wood. Um, uh, do, 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 do. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let me let me take that. I'll take that deal. So my goal now is to get um, a, a settlement at least down here or down here. I got a lot of sheep. Man, where's the sheep port? The sheep port's up here. That is too far away from me. Oh man. All right, so let me just keep going with the sheep. Let me just keep going with sheep. Um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that for right now. Um, if I can get a settlement down here, then this means so rather than trading um, with other people or other AIs, as you can see here. Hey, I got a two. Cool. Um, I can uh, trade with the computer in a sense. So I'm gonna do that right now. So nobody wants. Uh, I want a brick. Does anybody want a sheep? How about one sheep? And they're still gonna say no. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the bank and I'm gonna take one brick for four sheep. So now I have my brick, hooray. And I'm going to place my road. Uh, I'm gonna place it over here actually, because then if I can connect this, then I can start my longest road that way. What else do we got? So we got a nine here. I didn't, I'm in a pretty good spot. Gain a wood, lose a wheat. Now I'm gonna hold on to that because I think I'm gonna buy another development card too. Oh, actually, I'll take that. Yes, I'll give you my wheat for that brick. See, I offered that and they said no. Now, did they have the brick in their hand beforehand? I'm not sure, but still. Uh, no, I want my brick, go away. So let's roll it up here. Four. Wow, that's a big one right there, a lot of wood. All right, so I'm gonna drop a 
another road here. Click, click. That's good. Um, I can't afford anything else. I can play my... So you can have as many development cards in your hand as you want. And as you play them, you do different things. So what the knight does is I can reposition the robber and steal from somebody. If I play the knight, then I also start gaining the largest army um, card, which I explained before uh, being uh, another way to gather points. Pretty good stuff here. Man, I'm collecting almost every roll. This is great. I still need brick though. <laughs> brick is really hard to find and there's only, there's really no other way to get brick. Like these are the only way to get the brick. Wow, okay. Um, you know what? Sure, why don't we do that? I do need a wheat. Oh, they didn't want to trade with me. Aw, oh, sad. Six, okay, so I gain another sheep. I'm going to go ahead and do, 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 do. I'm going to take a brick. Uh, yeah, let's let's just see right here. Anybody want an ore? How about a brick for an ore? Really? Nothing? Nothing at all? All right, brick for a wood? This is so stupid with a computer player. Come on. Fun thing about this is you can actually get yourself uh, this cool little dice uh, status here just to see uh, how many of each things were rolled. Wow, we haven't rolled a single 10 or, no, go away, uh, 10, 12, or 3. You should get a very nice bell curve here in terms of what, um, you know, there's shorter, less numbers here, more in the middle. You're going to give me two, no, uh, go away. You, mm, uh, you really want that brick. No, 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 no. You didn't trade with me when I asked it for when I asked for it, so now you get nothing, Marianne. And here we go. Here comes the robber. I have to get rid of cards. Shoot. Alright, so one, two, three. I'll get rid of all my ore. I don't really care. That's fine. Rick does not in uh, a good spot. An eleven of five and a tw uh, twelve? Oof. Oh wow, a three. Cool. Get my wheat. Oh, that makes me Oh, that's my settlement! Oh, that's my settlement! Yes! Awesome! Okay, cool. Four. Nice. So now I get to build my settlement. I can build it right. Shimia! Boom. Awesome! I got my settlement. Um, and then I want to put a road there, and then I will be in a very good position. Nice! So now I only need three of any single resource in order to be able to trade. Beautiful. Where do I want to put my upgrade? Probably... There's a lot of fours rolled. That's weird. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Okay, Jean, sir. Is it Jean or Jean or what, are, what, are, what do you want to be called? Ah, lots of wool. Lots and lots of wool. Uh, no, I need that. Because now I can start trying to build a city. In order to build a city, I need three ore and two, um, two wheat. And that basically means I can change any existing settlement into a city which not only gets me more points, but also, uh, cool, awesome, but also um, gives me uh, double the resources of whenever that number is rolled. Do I want to move? You know what? Let's just play it. Let's just play it and have fun. We're going to go over here. We're going to drop the knight over there, and I'm going to steal from... I'm going to steal from Gene. I got a wood. Do I want to do anything else with that wood? Do I? Do I? Six cards in my hand, I could possibly get more out of that. Let's go ahead and trade three wood for, for a wheat. Everyone seems to like wheat. There we go. Good. Now I got four cards in my hand. Excellent. So I got my two wheat, which I need, and I only need one more ore in order to change something into. Aha! Awesome. Illigrad's got to discard all those cards. Uh, change something into a city, and of course I played it just as they dropped it there. Oh, uh, you know what I gotta also do? I gotta pay attention to everyone else's points up here. I, I have a tendency of looking away sometimes and not paying attention to that and see where everybody is in terms of uh, their point values. Oh, and I have enough for a city? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Which one do I want to make a city? I'm gonna make you a city. Shabam! Uh, because nines are pretty common, sixes are pretty common as well. And uh, even though we've been rolling a ton of fours, the the, uh, the the robber is on that for right now, so I can't even gain any resources from that. Come on, here we go. Yes! Yes, that's two, two sheep right there. Beautiful. So now you have the longest road. 
with five segments. I only have three, but as soon as I connect this together, I'll have a lot more. Wow. Wow. Look at all my sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. I just wish that port wasn't... Because if you have a port with a specific um, resource tied to it, then you only need two of that resource in order to gain um, the benefits. What do I want to do? So I definitely want to buy a development card, 100%. What do I get? Another knight. That's cool. Uh, I can't... Yeah, you can't play at the turn you get it. Right, 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 right. Uh, go here. And we'll go... We'll go brick, right? Yeah, brick. Cool. Excellent. Three cards in hand. <laughs> you know what? You... you here, take my emoji. Eat that. Urgh, you jerks. Y'all are jerks. Thank you. I got plenty of ways to get sheep, so I will take all the sheep for other things. Eight. Beautiful. Take my ore. Uh, I don't want to gain a sheep. I'm, I'm just paying attention, trying to figure out where everybody is. There's a lot of trading that's attempted to go on here, because I feel like... Uh, People are close to getting things. Roll a seven. Roll a seven. That's a nine. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take my sheeps. Alright, my turn. Alright, first things first. I'm gonna do this. Roll. Got another nine, so I got more sheep. I'm gonna play the knight. I'm gonna move it up here. Boom. I'm going to steal from you. Got another sheep, sure. Let's drop a road here. Um, all right, let's buy a development card. Good. What do we got? Victory point. You are granted one additional victory point. Sweet, so I just get it. Oh, that's seven. All right, so where's he going? Probably back to four. Lots of people. Oh, yeah, okay. I see. Aha! Ha, you have to move it now. Um, oh, no, never mind. That You just told me that you, saw, that you uh, did it. Hmm. Uh, no. Now I wish I had those knights. No, go away. All right, my turn. Go. That's going to hinder me so much. Unless I roll a two and I gain lots of sheep. All right, what do we got? And of course, my six is just going to be completely uh, useless right now. Uh, I should have bought a development card. Shoot. That's what I should have done. Uh, yeah, I'll take the ore. Why not? Maybe I can uh, rebuild uh, another city somewhere. Yeah, sure, I'll take the ore. Oh, wait, you took, a, you took a wheat. Oh, no, they didn't take it from me. That's fine. Come on. Move. Move the robber. Roll a seven. Ah, oh, man. Uh, gain a sheep, minus wheat. No. A lot of uh, offers there that people are looking for sheep. You know what? If you didn't put the, the robber there, then I bet you you'd gain your sheep. Eight. All right, so that's fine. So I gain an ore then. Um, I can make a city. Okay, let's let's just make a city. Why not? It's here. I have it all. I gained another victory point, so now I'm pretty high. Um, I have a five road. A seven road's really hard to do. Oh, man. And I can't buy another development card because I don't have it. But I think we're pretty good right now. Someone's got to move that robber. This is, this is what always screws me over whenever I play. Thank you. The robber always drops down in the most inconvenient of spots, as would be expected, and it just like completely stops all progress I'm trying to do. <sighs> See, here comes another seven. You're gonna put it on six, aren't you? You're gonna put it back on. Yeah, you are. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, stop! I'll take it just to to possibly build another road. All right, eleven. No one has anything on that 11? That's interesting. Yeah, whatever. Um, do I just build it? I could put it here and just kind of not worry about anything down there. Um, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, let's just, let's just put it here. Plop. There we go. So now I'm at six. I need two more roads in order to gain the longest road uh, card and take those points away from Marianne. Yes, please get rid of that robber. It's fine. I don't really even care. Now roll sixes. Everybody roll sixes. Six. All right. Three. Uh, see, there's only been seven sixes. There's got to be more. We can do more sixes. We can do better than that. There we are. That's a ten. That's nothing. It's funny because if you watch it, you'll actually see the. Um, I can't even trade 
that. The, the, the part go up here before the roll even happens. See, watch, I'm just gonna roll. Add a, it's an 11, boom. And next roll from Gene. It's a 10. Wow, all of my stuff is not rolling anymore. Mm -mm -mm. Gene has seven, that's not good. You don't even have any bonuses or anything like that. She is building up her resources like crazy. Oh man, <laughs> it's a smart move putting that there because even though fours aren't that common, they seem to be common in this particular game. And um, the, uh, the robber right there is being very, uh, very, very annoying. Uh, I'm actually going to take an ore for three wheat. Uh, yeah, that's good. Because I kind of want to grab another development card. I grab another development card and hopefully it's uh, the robber. Then that will be very good. Or the knight, I should say, so I can move the robber. Uh, roll a seven. Roll a seven, Gene. Go ahead. Nope, you rolled an eight. That's fine. Wow. That's a lot of ore I'm gaining. Cool, I'll take it. Um, I can't do that because I don't have a brook to give you. Uh... Yes, actually, we'll do that, because then I can gain my development card next turn. Uh, no. Alright, Hildegard's roll is a six. Oh, look at how much I'm gonna get! Look at how many sheep, 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 sheep. Bah, sheep. Um, yes, let's go ahead and do that, because, um, do I gain a brick for an ore? Yeah, let's do that, too. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. My turn, Rolly. Seven. Oh, and I gotta discard cards. Oh, no. Uh, bye, sheep. I gotta do one more. Uh, would. Bye. Ah, uh, jerks. But what am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? Let's drop you here. Because <laughs> you all suck. Take that, take my wheat. Um, man, and now I'm, I should have kept the sheep to gain uh, the other thing. Uh, all right, let's just put a road here. So, oh, you have nine? Oh, okay. Well, that didn't work out as well as I thought I was going to. Uh, all right. I should have, again, got to pay attention. Got to focus on these things. You have 12 roads? Because you probably played a development card that gave you a thousand roads in one shot. Man, no. Oh, someone moved the uh, the robber using a knight card. It's on an eight. That's fine. And someone stole from me. And now the robber's going again, and I need to get rid of cards. Oh, my. Jeez, this is just brutal. No, 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 no. Back up. One, one, two, one. There we go. Get rid of all that. Wow, this is tough. All right, my turn. Rolly roll. Look at everyone's points. Oof. Ooh, some point totals right there. Um, man, all right, I'm just gonna take a development card because these are very helpful to have. I got another knight, which is good. Maybe I can do the knight and gain the um, my next turn, uh, the largest army. I think three is the threshold to gain that. And here we go. Where are you moving it? Back to me, of course. Of course you are. And you stole from me too. Ugh is seven all right get rid of that robber move them somewhere where are you going going up to five all right cool so that means i have uh, eight again available my turn let's give a roll what am i gonna get i now get the robber i'm gonna move the robber to eight Oof. and i'm gonna take from gene i haven't stolen from you yet got that and we're actually going to do this i have a large army sweet i'm gonna drop it right here now and steal wheat from you which is good, and I'm gonna buy another development card. What I get? What I get? What I get? Another knight. All right, that's fine. Roll away. Twelve. Is that our first twelve of the game? That is our first twelve of the game. Good. Not that it did any good for me, but hey, you know it's something. And we're oh, it was a six. Ah, oh, sweet. All right, give me, give me back my sheep. I really need my sheep right now in order to try to figure out what to do. I have eight. I have eight, Gene has eight. Um, yeah, I'll take that, sure. Um, Hildegard's fine, because you're at four. And, oh, you're back over here, are you? I'm just kind of watching, seeing where everyone's going. There's no way I can make the longest road now. There's no way, you have a 12 path, so I should just kind of 
forget that altogether. Um, I should try to make my this a city, which is very possible to do. Three sheep for a wheat. Done. Or not. Or apparently that didn't work. Apparently I hit the wrong button, which is going to really stink if a robber is uh, done. Uh, no. Oh, now I'm nervous. Oh man, Jean's at nine points. Jean's at nine. I think we may lose this one. Oh no, I was robbed. Uh, yeah, I was probably robbed. Yep, the sheep was taken. Ah, uh, and you rolled the eight. Oh, you, oh, you, you. Ah, uh, denied me of my ore. Denied me of my ore. All right, roll it up. Oh no. Oh, oh no. No. 10. 10 on the dice. Jean's gonna win. She's so close to winning. I can just feel it in my gut. She's absolutely going to win. What are you gonna do? Do your roll. At this point, it doesn't matter what this roll is. I feel like she has won. Two roll for a brick, two all. Yep, there it is. She made the settlement. Oh man, that was. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, that was close. That was close. That's probably one of the closest games I've ever had. Um, I've, I've lost pretty badly <laughs> otherwise. Uh, so I had, um, what is that? Victory point card? Oh, yeah, victory point card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had seven victory points at the end regardless of anything. Um, wow, yeah, I had a nice large army right there. What did I have? Successful trade, city built, settlements, roads, fun, 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 fun. Yeah, your your roads and everything got really high. Four settlements. All right, this is bad. And then general, like, okay, see, now look at the curve. It actually is a standard bell curve with, you know, the most in the middle and then progressively getting less as you go left and right. It was very unbalanced early game, but hey, there you go. But that's all they say is that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this digital dive into the world of Catan, specifically Catan Universe. I'm going to be trying again in hopes to gain a win and uh, see how that goes from there. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know in your comments below. Uh, if you have any other games that you think I can go into a digital dive for, let me know. I have uh, Splendor right now. Uh, and then I bought Ticket to Ride. Might as well do some of the fun stuff, some of the more common things and everything. So, until next time, everyone, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We're family forever, gaming together. Maybe I'll game with you guys one day through the multiplayer on this. That would be fun, that would be interesting, that would be something for the future. Until next time, later. <laughs>